Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is May Portugues, and I'm going to present the results of the study, Mentoring in Educational Innovation, Systematization in the Experience of Teachers' Educational Experimentation and Research. This research was conducted at Tecnológico de Monterrey in Mexico. The world has just faced one of the most challenging times for our society. The consequences derived from the pandemic are still known and will continue to be investigated for a long time. This situation led to an accelerated digital transformation where technologies came to facilitate communication and transform educational models to adapt them to the new conditions. The role of educational innovation is strengthened now. More than ever, the teacher becomes an essential factor in achieving quality education, so educational systems should be concerned that teachers integrate new content and strategies into the curriculum. More and more institutions are encouraging teachers to carry out educational innovation and evaluate its impact. In this sense, research applied to improve teaching practice is a pillar for progress in this area of knowledge. However, there are limitations for teachers to engage in educational research and apply it to their teacher practice. In educational projects based on ICT, it is necessary to identify success factors and how these results obtained can last over time. Considering considering that they address specific needs of students, and mentoring programs are processes that support the participants in the educational process. The context of this research is the NOVOS Fund of the Institute for the Future of Education of the Tecnológico de Monterrey in Mexico. Since 2012, NOVOS supports the implementation of educational innovations by the institutional professors. Its objective is to disseminate, transfer, and scale the projects and publish the results in referees, journals, conferences, and international competitions. The methodology in this study was a systematization of the educational experimentation experience carried out by the teachers. In this study, the interventions during the mentoring were analyzed, documented, and reflected on the mentees' experiences. The objectives of this reflection is to re reconstruct the experience and take a critical look at it to generate new knowledge about what was experienced. The process of the investigation was as follows. Step one, to define the objects, the object to be systematized, to, it consisted of the mentoring experience during the development of 70 educational experimentation projects of teachers in, university, in a university in Mexico. Step two, to identify the objectives of the systematization, to know the main characteristics of the projects, to identify the mentees needs in the innovation management processes, and to recognize which mentoring criteria were presented in the process. Step three, generate conclusions from the findings. Most of the projects contemplate studying the impact of learning technologies. 81%, including the development of the web platform, 15% virtual reality, 9% remote laboratories. Most of the projects contemplate studying the impact of learning technologies, including the development of web platforms, virtual reality, remote laboratories, and the Internet of Things. For this, the teachers decided to measure mainly the variables of knowledge, which are divided into academic performance and learning. Attitudes such as the attention, interest, and motivation, and skills and competencies, which can be disciplinary or transversal. Among the primary needs found in the experimental protocol, 51% of the teachers needed to define or revise their experimental protocol. 27% had not selected or sought support to choose the instrument, and 22% were looking to redefine or identify the variables. Regarding the activities considered by the mentees as valuable during a mentoring process, the most relevant were support for the dissemination and writing of articles during the experimentation, help in the transfer of innovation after the end of the project, 
presentation of progress according to objectives established by mutual agreement with the mentor, having more support during the experimentation process, and receiving mentoring from the other teachers. As conclusions, we can say that during the mentoring process, the mentor played a supportive role for the teachers. The support of an educational researcher was valuable for the participants, considering the need to identify the methodologies to carry out the experimentation. The accompaniment and communication were deemed positive by favoring the social processes of knowledge construction, facilitating the achievement of the mentee's objective. Thank you very much. I'm May Portugues from the Institute for the Future of Education, Tecnológico de Monterrey.